All right, outstanding, love it. Very rugged construction, and it comes with a pretty complete set of barrel gauges. In fact, it's got a couple that my own set doesn't have, including, I've seen that before, but I can't recall what kind of device uses that. But yeah, pretty complete. It's got, and, well, here's the, the power pack, and it's got a USB port as well as barrel gauge. In fact, I'm using the included cord with the C barrel right into a recharger. But a Fox Nova battery charger with a couple 18650 batteries. It's, in fact, it actually already filled them up before I had a chance to grab the camera and start filming it. So, <laughs> I, I had it on speed charging, which is a full amp right there and then you know before I, even, I went back in the house to get the camera and came back out and they were like full whoops but as you can see the USB is pulling about you know 5 volts uh, the output for the USB is 5 volts at 2.1 amps the DC output is 18 volts at 2.2 amps more than enough to speed charge rechargeable batteries that well, these actually go to a very bright work light so in other words use the sun to power your night <laughs> with chargeable batteries they're already full so I can swap them out uh, they got a little pouch here you can actually fit you will have to bend it slightly but you can fit the barrel gauges in there as well as the cord and go ahead and unplug that look at the general construction very rugged this I would definitely say this is very suitable for outdoor use as long as you remember how it's supposed to fold up okay there you go it's like that <laughs> it has little loops on here so you can hang it on a tree and it all folds up very 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 nicely just like that and it's not that heavy you easily go into a, a one of those large hiking packs so definitely outstanding work love it and there's the information there about it very nicely done and a working temperature oh that's something to actually take note of uh, minus 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius oh wow that's uh, cool stuff Waterproof cloth, monocrystalline, that's the new stuff, dude. Monocrystalline is what's really transforming the solar panel technology. It's really, really doing the thing, making that dream come true. And who knows what comes after monocrystalline, but monocrystalline is the hottest, newest stuff that's making solar power so practical in daily consumer life. I, I tell you what. All right, so there you guys go. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. All right, you guys have yourself a great one. All right, quick ad and slight amendment. Yes, first I wanted to treat the little pouch here. It does fit, like I said, the cord and the, uh, these, the barrel gauge kit. It does fit in there. It's kind of a tight cram. But as I was bringing it in, I was thinking to myself, man, that really does kind of bulk it up. Uh, I mean, it's all right. It's and it's about the same bulk as the power pack in there, but it does bulk it up and it is kind of crammed in there. So there's that to keep in account. What you probably, well, at least what I'll end up doing is just keeping actually nothing in here. Or maybe if you need like a little uh, emergency map or something, some kind of uh, papers or something like that, keep it in there. You know, a copy of a map or something. Otherwise, I'd, I'd end up actually keeping that slim and just, you know, if I was hiking, I would carry this as a completely separate thing than trying to all shove it in there. All right, there's that. Second thing is I realized I folded it wrong when I came in the house, so I wanted to show you the actual proper folding of this so it all goes in nice and neat. All right, so we'll bring it out here. Now, all right, so you've got this portion here that folds in first then fold this part in like that and then fold it over there's your velcro strap and there you go next thing was the dimensions so let's go ahead and look at the dimensions here i already measured it but so you can see it for yourself 
So we're talking uh, eight inches, and then mm, ten inches, and now for width-wise, I'm measuring from the thickest part where the USB pack is. That's eh, two inches, pretty much on spot. All right, and a uh, weight. Well, let's turn on my scale here and stick it straight on there. Now, of course, that's in ounces, but yeah, 40, 46.55 ounces. Okay, so yeah, considering though it's not that heavy, considering what uh, you know the old batteries used to weigh. <laughs> All right, and the other last thing I wanted to treat was the cord. Uh, uh, I noticed there was a question about cord length. Someone said the cord was too short for them. Well, I actually measure the cord. Now, the cord itself that came with this one is 56 inches of practical length. You may wonder, what do I mean by practical length? Well, whenever I measure something, I call it practical length to demark it from total length. Total length is basically five feet practical length which is from the base of the housing to the base of the housing is 56 inches I don't really consider the plugs as part as the length because this is where all your flexibility is, is in the cord so the cord itself is 56 inches which uh, I did some web walking yes I did just to see if there was any ones longer this is a DC 55.2.1 or just DC 5521 male to DC 5521 male that's the type of cord this is and it's basically five feet or 56 inches of practical length and I looked I googled and I searched and I looked at the hits and you know what I found the longest one I could find was one meter not kidding uh, so I'm guessing if you need something longer than this cord it looks like it's possibly a specialty item meaning that you would have to head down to your local tech store like Radio Shack and ask them if they can find a longer cord than five feet or 56 inches in practical length because, yeah, this looks like this is pretty much uh, on the top end, at least what's uh, commercially openly available. So there you guys go.